Hello and welcome to another Demis Helen tutorial. This is the Firefly bus compressor. I picked mine up for £12 on Plugin Boutique, I think. Um, so it's a relatively cheap compressor, but how does it stand up to some of the other compressors that I use? Now, it definitely has its use and it definitely sounds good. Uh, so let's just have a quick walkthrough uh, with the track that it's actually currently compressing. It's on a lead bus channel. So it's just controlling the leads in here and I'll just show you how that is doing its job. So as you can see on here, we have the threshold, the ratio attack, release and makeup gain, the usual suspects on a compressor. Extras we have are the analog button, the punch setting, uh, the side balance and the side chain. So essentially the analog is adding some real world analog warmth back into your compression, compressed channel. Uh, so you're getting them warmer, softer, saturated uh, effects rather than just being a hard digital compressor. So that especially works on overall mixes so you can add a bit of warmth back into your compressed signal. There's all sorts of things but I've got it on here on the synth, it does add that little bit of realness back into them. Uh, on the side channel bounce we have side channel uh, increments so we have it set to the middle usually so I've increased the side detail uh, on here and I'll show you that in another instance how that works in a second uh, we have the punch section which has two transient modes so we have kind of soft transients or harder driven transients uh, respective of what the threshold is set at and I'll demonstrate that in a second uh, and then the side channel detail is good for uh, like the mastering stage so you can bypass all the low end detail where the kick and the bass lie so they don't drive the compressor over the top of what it should be uh, that you're setting out so it'll focus on more of the lower mids right up to the top of the mix so that's a handy feature to have as well okay and finally we have the yellow signal which is the original signal coming in and then the red being the compressed very similar visuals to how FabFilter do their Pro C series Okay, so when I turn this off, you'll be able to hear the difference on the synths. And I'm just gonna load another Firefly instance here. Right, so there's no compression here, uh, threshold's at zero. Let's just bypass this other one. So you can hear the difference. Um, and if you're not trained, if your ears are not trained to hear, uh, the, the difference is you will hear them now whilst I do this. So I'm just going to increase the ratio to 3 to 1. We're going to drive the threshold down till we get some reduction, as you can see here. So let's just go over the top a little bit here, minus 30 dB. So you can hear an example of how it's working already. So it's bringing up some of that lower detail. Uh, but not too much, so it's not it's not any different to a normal compressor at the moment. So what we have here is the punch settings. So we have a transient setting, uh, which is lower, and then we have a harder driving one. So let's listen to the lower one. And we'll bypass it a few times. So it brings some of that detail out. And the harder one. You can tell the difference there. Really emphasizes how I wanted the track to sound originally. Okay, so we'll keep the punch on. Now we can hear the S balance, which is the side channel. We can remove pretty much all the side detail, or we can increase it. So, very narrow, straight down the middle of the headphones. And that's more opened up, lets you hear more of that reverb that's just been generated in the background. So we'll leave it about there, that sounds good. Uh, and we won't bother with the side channel detail, but this ultimately goes up to 320 hertz. And what it does is tell the compressor not to compress anything below 68 hertz that way. So yeah, good for mastering, but not necessarily applicable to this synth. All right, so that is a synth kind of blending technique uh, also we can use it on the kick so bear in mind this kick's already been processed so don't just go whacking firefly on your kick channel uh, 
So we're going to demonstrate how you can make your kick warmer or you can make your kick clickier. So we're just going to drive this up to three to one as usual. Get some reduction here at minus 20. And we're going to use these two punch modes to increase the warmth or the click. So the harder drive from one is for the click. You're still going to get click from this one, but this is going to give you more warmth. So let's listen to the warmth first. And back on. So you get a bit more warmth, but you get that click. But if we add this one, you'll get more click. This seems to be more mid-range driven. You can hear the mid-range increase, uh, whereas this one, you kind of hear the, the bass end, the low mids and the kind of the, the low end just be boosted a little bit. Not drastically, but just enough to give it that different presence. So let's just, let's just change these settings. So you can hear that it softens this analog. Now you can hear it on the low end. Let's just turn this set so we're processing the entire signal. You can hear when you put the analog on, you can hear the warmth. So you can see the, the compression detail change when I slide this side chain up. Look how much information it loses by dragging this up. So it's only processing the, the clickier parts, whereas that's taking the whole signal right down to 20 hertz into consideration. So there is another example of how you can increase kind of the presence of a kick drum using that. Now we could use it on hats, we could use it on like a syncopated bass, but there's nothing too syncopated here. I've just got this bass and then a nice sub bass on at the bottom. But we'll uh, we'll go for one more example and we'll go with the hats, but I don't have a has, hats bus yet. Let's try it on this one. Okay. So we're going to load Firefly on here. We'll have a two to one ratio. We'll get some reduction going. We'll have everything fairly fast. Turn analog off. Increase side detail. Right, so let's see what the punch does for us here. Let's just start with the lower one. Okay, we start to get some transient data coming through there. It's, it's really driving some of those peaks. And let's try the punchier one. So you get some real nice detail out of there. Um, let's just turn the ratio up here. So you can have a more detailed, just capturing the peaks, or you can have a really squashed, smooth sound coming from it there. So I like that about there. That sounds very natural. Let's just bypass it. So we've got some nice detail coming through there. Let's just have a listen out of curiosity with the rest of the track. the makeup gain here. That sounds quite nice. So you can use Firefly on there to boost some transient detail. Uh, it, do, it can be used on individual tracks. It doesn't have to be a bus channel. Um, so I hope that's demonstrated that well for you. Um, 
as a bonus tip, let's just go for it. Let's put Firefly on the master channel and just see what we can come up with. So we'll put analog on. We'll keep it to a two to one ratio to keep it nice and steady. Uh, we'll just have the release a little bit faster than that. Slightly faster, uh, slower attack. Let's just see how that sounds. Let's just put some gentle, we won't go over the top. Okay, so we've got some reduction there. Uh, I'm just going to put on the the lower setting for the punch. And let's drive some of that data out at 200 hertz. Okay, so it sounds subtle. You can't really tell it's playing there. Bearing in mind this is a really quick setup. So it does lose a little bit of uh, pace, it does add a little bit more weight to it if you listen. Definitely gives that kick more presence. It's very nice. Uh, let's just add the extra punch. See that is more obvious now, the clap's standing out far too much. So you'd have to start adjusting settings here. I'd be tempted to just have no punch settings on. You can hear that warm analog feeling just smothering the bottom there. I'm back on. Yeah, definitely. So if you're listening on headphones, you can hear that warmth just coat in the bottom end of the track even though we're not controlling anything below 200 hertz it just adds that overall fuzzy feeling to your track so yeah you could use that easily on your master channel use it conservatively don't just go crazy go yeah threshold right up here but with just some gentle reduction here at around 20 yeah around 20 would be good it sounds pretty good. So let's just listen to it with the side chain down. So we're getting all the information. So you can hear the big difference. The kick is now taking over the compressor. You can see how much reduction it's added. And we put it back to 200. It's leaving that kick alone and it's letting the rest of the track be kind of coated in this little loveliness that Firefly seems to add to it. So there you go. Firefly on three different examples there so I hope I've covered it well for you um, using it on a lead using it on the hats uh, on a kick and then finally the bonus one uh, we've used it on the master channel so yeah sounds pretty damn good so let's just listen to how it sounds loud here and then I will uh, leave the video at that so thank you very much for watching and leave me a comment and a like let me know what you thought and what you want to see next tell me if you're going to buy Firefly uh, and let me know what real world applications that you use it on. And finally, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you can see my new uploads every week. So here we are on the final channel. I will let this louder section play and I'll just uh, enable and bypass this uh, Firefly on the louder sections. So here we go and thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.